how do you choose a role that you can do something with and it's worth your time? We made a decision, we being agent manager, about 12 years ago, 10, 10 12, 15 years ago. I had done Dumb and Dumber and it, because it was such a huge success, I was kind of labeled as that. And what it really did was take me out of the serious, important actor room. Right. And that was the risk. We even knew doing Dumb and Dumber. I, a couple of my agents of mine at the time were going, this is, this is going to hurt you. We're trying to get you towards Oscars and all that stuff, which is, I'm going, well, it's going okay, but I need to mix it up. And so I did, I did Dumb and Dumber, one, to work with Jim. Because if you can comedically stay with a comedic genius like Jim Carrey, yeah, you can say you can do comedy. But then once you do Dumb and Dumber, now you can put Terms of Endearment and Something Wild and Purple Rose later on Gettysburg in the newsroom and to go, look at the range. Right. And then when you're living in Michigan, which is what I've been doing since 86, I haven't lived in LA. Yeah. So I'm trying to sustain a movie and television career in the Midwest. And my answer to that was create the range. That was the goal. And so we look for things like Squid and the Whale. Yeah. That was one of the first ones. You do it for no money, you shoot it, there's no distribution, you shake hands with Laura, Lenny, and Noah Baumbach at the end of the shoot and go, I wonder if anybody's even gonna see this. Turns out they did. That led to God of Carnage on Broadway. That worked out well. But I kept thinking the career was pretty much done in film and TV. Really? Yeah. I don't trust this for a second. John Goodman told me way back, we did a commercial together for Butterball Turkey, and John said, you know that limo you're riding in? It's rented. And he goes, I've, there's somebody else's ass is going to be sitting in it tomorrow night. Don't ever forget that.